Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I am so excited to be filming again. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that I'd recently accepted a new position um, with a new company, which I had, and that position actually relocated me a few hundred miles away. I formerly lived in St. Louis and now I live in the Cincinnati area in Northern Kentucky. New backgrounds because I have actually a new house. So you'll probably see over the next couple of videos, I'm probably going to film in different locations throughout the house just to kind of figure out which works the best for me. Um, and if you have any opinions, please feel free to leave those. Um, but I am really, really excited to be filming again. I don't know if I will be able to keep up with the rigor of filming and publishing one video every single week, but I'm going to try to every other week publish a new video. I am still reading like a crazy lady and I'm actually watching a lot of Netflix, Netflix and Prime and getting kind of back into um, movies and um, streaming service um, TV series. I gave up my cable subscription. I'm actually not watching a lot of like broadcast TV. I'm watching a lot of streaming stuff. So I'm thinking I might actually, I'm thinking I might actually even publish some videos on um, streaming service recommendations and um, what I think about some of the movies that are coming out, particularly if they have literary roots, of course, um, which I which I love. Um, just a sidebar, by the way, I watched In the Heights um, a couple of weeks ago. It is a good movie, and I do I do recommend it. But what was interesting, it said something in the uh, as the credits rolled um, uh, about a book, and I was like, wait, is is In the Heights based on a book? And it is not. They actually published a book after the movie, so I'm probably going to be. Um, checking that out and um, I will give you my thoughts on that but that was just kind of an interesting sidebar bar if you have not had the chance to see In the Heights but you do enjoy musicals it is out right now and I would recommend it so today I want to talk to you about a new series that I discovered sort of a, during my hiatus I Goodreads, Barnes and Noble, yeah, Amazon recommendations, BookBub, like one of those thousand emails that I get with um, recommendations and new titles and whatnot actually had um, Liliana Hart's Dirty Martini as a recommendation for me. I don't know if it was just a global recommendation or whether these were one of these sort of personalized recommendations and it saw that I read, I read a lot of crime um, series or not. Um, but it is a series, it's the J.J. Graves Mystery, so I picked up the new release, but I also picked up the very first book in the series, so I could start, and then if I liked it, I would read the new release, and I did. Um, I very much enjoyed it. I was a little surprised that I had not been familiar with Liliana Hart, because she has actually written like 60, I think, titles um, over the course of her career, and she has um, numerous bestsellers um, in her repertoire. She writes... I'm going to be checking my notes down here, but she has written several series, so she's got the McKinsey series, um, the Grave Digger series, Addison Holmes, the Scarlet Chronicles, and Harley and Davidson, which she wrote with Scott Silver, um, who I believe is her husband, um, so that's interesting. The couple also live with their numerous children, I don't know how she has time to write 60 books, but they live with their, their children in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so potentially that's what drew me like a magnet to her. Dallas people, Texas people, they all kind of gravitate towards one another. We're a thing, right? <laughs> um, anyway, it, a couple of her series actually sounds pretty good. Grave Diggers um, is a series, I think there are only three books in the series right now, um, but it's based on people who were formerly in the like Black Ops portion of the military military and who are for better intents and purposes they're dead um, but news of their death has been greatly exaggerated and they are still alive but their former um, identities have been deceased and so they kind of work under the radar to provide justice um, to people and it's a little bit of a romance tinge to each of the three books from what I can tell um, on her website Liliana said that she's actually focused not on this series so she doesn't have any books right now commissioned um, but she is opening open to a continuation of the series so I'm gonna check that out because it sounds a little bit intriguing and I hope that eventually she'll be able to pick that up um, she also writes the Addison
Addison Holmes series. Addison Holmes is a teacher who supplements her income by stripping. And one evening she's leaving the club and she stumbles across a dead body and that actually starts her life as a private investigator. And I think there are eight or nine books in the Addison Holmes series. Liliana says that she is not actively writing Addison Holmes, but she does have a spinoff series that she's writing, quote unquote, in her spare time. Did I not mention that she's written 60 books and she has like five children and a husband? Where does she find this time? But anyway, in her spare time, she is writing a spinoff of the Addison Holmes series. It actually sounded pretty intriguing, and so I might check that one out as well. Um, I Harley and Davidson in the McKinsey series um, sounded okay. McKinsey's actually sounds like straight up romance. Like you, you see the covers and they've got like six pack abs and like men from here to here um, shots, uh, that, that kind of book. And I'm not terribly interested in those kinds of romances, but I know that there are a lot of people who are. Um, so if you like what I have to say about Liliana Hart and who she is as an author, I am sure that she has the same sort of tone in her book, in her romantic books, and you might want to check those out. Um, but today, I want to talk about J.J. Graves, which is an active series for Liliana Hart. She's actually upped the cadence of releasing in this series to twice a year. Um, so her latest one is Dirty Martini. There are, I think, 11 books um, in the series, and I have actually now read officially all 11 books. Um, the first book starts out by introducing us to J.J. Graves. She is a fourth generation mortician, and um, she has actually inherited her family's practice. Her parents have um, unfortunately passed away in a, in a heinous accident, and, and when her parents died, she was in um, her medical residency. So she, she is actually a doctor, and she goes back to her hometown where she applies um, her MD to actually become the coroner of King County, Virginia. Um, she lives in a small town Bloody Mary, Virginia, which is in, in fact fictitious, um, but it has about 3,000 residents, so it's a super small town, and um, her best friend in the series is Jack Lawson, and he is the sheriff of town, so together, they fight crime! Shh, shh. Actually, they don't really fight crime, but they figure out who done it on the back end. Um, <laughs> anyway, it is, um, it's an interesting premise, and um, it's an intriguing series. Um, over the course of the 11 books, you actually are introduced to more of the sort of usual suspects in the cast, and so it grows from just being really about JJ and Jack. Um, their relationship also sort of grows and matures over the course of um, the series, and they do wind up getting married at some point early on in the series. I don't feel like I'm giving anything away because if you read the back, it says husband Jack Lawson. So um, they do wind up um, eventually getting married. So you see the development of their relationship there, but you also see the development of some key characters um, within Bloody Mary and within their, their former lives. So Jack and JJ are childhood best friends. Um, they had a couple of other best friends who make it appearances throughout the series. Um, Jack at one point in his life was a big city police officer and um, unfortunately due to an accident he was shot he decided to take a step back and come back to Bloody Mary but um, he hit, he still has some key ties and some really good friends in in the industry in the FBI and um, they play some key roles so it's it's really fun actually to read the book as a series but I would say um, just picking up a book in the series, I think Liliana does a really nice job of um, helping explain sort of why we are here and each character's sort of development um, to date, so to speak. So you don't necessarily need to read the series um, in its chronological order to enjoy each individual story. I love the murders that Jack and JJ investigate. I think some of them are fairly straightforward, but um, most of them are quite inventive. And um, the who done it is actually not as easy to figure out as I think I would have uh, understood. Um, each book is really easy to read. Um, they're yeah, 250, 300 pages a piece, so they're not terribly long. Um, 
This is actually the shortest book in the series. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's only 91 pages. Um, so these are actually great stories to pick up if you have, uh, you know, a trip, if you're going on an airplane ride, if you're going to be taking the bus, if you're um, hanging out by the pool or going to the ocean or whatever. These are actually pretty good um, stories to read because they're fairly easy to keep up with. And if you lose your place, it's fairly easy to, to kind of remember where you were. Um, it's not terribly complex. From a writing perspective, I think Liliana is is pretty good. Um, I think her her characters are, are somewhat compelling. Her crimes are really interesting. Um, the the language is pretty simple and so it's very easy to sort of keep up with and read it's very straightforward there's not a lot of nuance there i would say the relationships are probably my favorite part of the entire series i love jj and jack um, they have a quirky relationship that is um, mutually respectful and um, the way that they communicate I, I, I find refreshing. It's very straightforward. There's not a lot of game and gamesmanship going on in their relationship and there's not a lot. She, she doesn't, she didn't create the relationship to provide attention throughout the series, um, but actually just to provide a, a point counterpoint in investigating the crime. So I really like it from that perspective. I also love that Liliana has introduced us and developed several key characters throughout the course of the series. So opening up a new J.J. Graves mystery is a lot like stepping on or stepping into a new pair of comfortable pants. It's a world that you've come to love and, and you like each character. Um, the way that Liliana writes her dialogue is very quick-witted, which I love. There's a lot of, um, you know, sort of sarcasm there. Um, I think she says several times that, you know, real police officers and investigators have to be funny and try to keep things on the lighter side not necessarily because they don't care but if they tried to give all of that emotion to every single case that they encounter they would very quickly sort of burn out so it's a way for them to keep their distance and keep their professionalism um, while doing the best job that they can to investigate crime so I found this series to be quite intriguing. I love it. I would absolutely recommend it. If you read um, romance novels that you might want to check out the McKinsey series if you like that sort of wit and that banter because I get the idea that that is inherent in the way that Liliana Hart writes her series. I read a quick preview of a couple of um, her series and it feels like that is her sort of dialogue and her banter between characters throughout her entire career. So that's why I'm kind of interested in um, checking out a couple of the other um, series that, that Liliana Hart writes. Um, if you're looking for a new series, something that you can very sort of quickly um, pick up, that you can read um, without a huge time commitment, um, I think this is a really fun series that I would highly recommend. Um, have y'all read Liliana Hart? Um, let me know in the comments below if you agree or if you disagree with my assessment. I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited to be back and I look forward to publishing my next video. I have so much to say you guys so I'm so excited to be back. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!